attached at the hip. <laughs> no, literally. Today we are reading your embarrassing date stories and also making of the best banana pudding known to existence. Shout out Belma. Yeah, shout out Belma. I actually found out it's Paula Dean's recipe. Shout out Paula Dean. Um, we're making That's someone- That's a corn cookie. It's a cookie that tastes like corn. <laughs> it's so good. Shout out Lena from TikTok. She's like, um, the woman that um, it is my um, contact for TikTok, she sent me a box from Milk Bar. She's so awesome. She's seriously so cool. Blueberry and cream. Okay. So, shall we read um, an embarrassing story first? We shall. Hi. I read your story about DMing embarrassing dating stories. I'm kind of hoping these are going to stay anonymous. Anyways. Before I met my current boyfriend, I met up with my ex at the time I had met on Tinder at a Starbucks. My phone wasn't working, so I was using my iPod. This was like 2016, lol. So my mom's at home, all worried I haven't sent or responded to texts in a while. And while after my date, me and this guy are, are seat back making out in the car like hot and heavy, I'm thinking everything is fine, and I only find out that years later my mom had taken my brother with her to drive by because my because she was concerned. So my mom and my brother saw this guy basically dry humping me on a date. <laughs> that oh is embarrassing. God. That is horrific. That's not even embarrassing. So I was sitting there on a candlelight dinner with this girl. The waiter got our order. As soon as he turned around, he farted so hard it blew on the candle hot. <laughs> I feel like that's definitely not true. But I feel like it's not true. It wouldn't even work like that. Like if a fart blew through your pants, it would just like... I know. Good try. Well, you read one more. This one's long. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Wait, you can read it while I start okay. Met a girl, girl one, through mutual friends around four years ago. Thought she was cute, but I was positive she was straight. It was till about a year ago when we were we were on a way back home from a party, both very drunk. She then confessed that she thinks she might be a little gay because she once had a big crush on a girl. Who I was, sorry, I sound like I'm a four year old reading this because I'm so tired, anyway. Who I was once in a thing with, but she decided to move to my ex, but that's another story. She was really flirty, so I thought maybe something would happen, but after that, I didn't see her till two weeks ago at a club. She kind of, she still looked hella cute. We spoke for a bit. I was kind of flirting, but I wasn't feeling the vibe from her, so I decided to just leave it and enjoy the night. Now I'm going to talk about another girl, and it will make sense at the end. The second girl, girl two, I met three years ago. We had the same English tutor, and she was the next person to come in when I finished, so I'd see her every time I left. She was so pretty. We had a few quick chats once in a while, but never heard from her again after. We had mutual friends, and I saw some pictures of her at prom, and oh my god, she looked unreal. Followed her on Insta, and then I realized she was bi because it was all over her feed. Back to the girl, or back to the club. I go club. Back to the club, I was walking, to, walking to the bar, and I see girl two there. I was like, great, this is my chance. So we started talking, drinking, and we're just- The same club at the same time? Mm. So we're just st start, so we just start talking, drinking, and we're getting, just getting on, so we'll, and we finally kiss. We were together most of the night, and we were talking about everything. Turns out she had a twin sister that was at the club too. She told me she was the gay sister, and that her sister was actually a bit weird about her being bi. Anyway, she wanted to go introduce me to her, so we go through the crowd, and we were heading towards girl one. Turns out they were identical twins. Shut and up. girl two had no idea her sister was gay too. Shut the frick up. Well, you definitely have a type. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time to bake. Okay, okay bugs. So we drink milk. I drink milk. All I could think about is it coming out of a, a fat udder. <laughs> She's tired. Okay. In a bowl, combine the milk and pudding mix and blend well.
different in your videos. You do. Explain how to self act different. Like different than what you thought or different than what she does in hers. Do you want to do the honors? <laughs> do you want to do the honors? Okay. Good job. Is it good? <laughs> it's so good. It'll be good. Don't worry. So, next story. I feel like you're a better storyteller than I. Would you stop? <laughs> stop. This girl and I were dating and we weren't long distance, but nothing happened between us the entire time. We hung out like four or five times and then one random day she blocked me on everything and dropped my stuff off. I still don't know what happened, but I'm like 97% sure she was cheating. That's not embarrassing. I was just confused and laughed. Wait. Oh my God. Definitely cheating. Definitely cheating. Like considering you've met up like four times and you've been dating like that means you probably only knew each other for like a couple weeks to a month like that's a really fast time to be like yeah i'm done mm -hmm. and just go off and like when i told the guy i had gone out with a few times that i was bisexual he told me you know that's a mental illness right safe to say i've never spoke to him since i would have been like oh really <laughs> Oh my god, I'm like, yeah, I'm really mentally ill. You know, so mentally ill that I can just. <laughs> 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 oh my god. My ex was married and I didn't even know two years into, a ser into the serious relationship. That's longer than I. I realized she was. We've been together for a year and a half. That's longer than I. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and realized she was cheating on her marriage and me. Oh. <sighs> So I had been dating this girl for a few months. We had really hit it off, but family was huge to her, so she invited me to a family dinner. At the family dinner, her mom called me and my called me and my girlfriend's ex's name. My girlfriend and her sisters corrected her, but I was still called the ex's name three more times. Then the mom proceeded to tell me that my girlfriend's ex was so much prettier and didn't need makeup, but I still to this day am dating her daughter, so jokes on her. Oh, my That's horrible like That's another situation that would have been oh like <laughs> <laughs> that is so messed up we can do um we have to um pr prepare the pan first so would you like to help me layer cookies what's up i want to read them more okay I i'll layer the cookies while you read i recognize this girl she's very active on like all my social medias. Okay. So I want to read it. Okay. One time my girlfriend, my mom, and I were in the kitchen. Keep in mind, my mom didn't know I was gay. I started poking the cinnamon rolls and my mom... I started poking the cinnamon rolls my mom made and my mom said, Savannah, stop fingering the cinnamon rolls. And then my girlfriend whispers, that's not the only thing she fingers. Oh my god, imagine if the mom heard. <gasps> That's funny. Here's a dating story, lol. I hung out with a guy once, and while we were cuddling, he asked me if my armpits smelled like French onion because that's how they usually smell. They didn't, thank God. Safe to say I never saw him again. It's <laughs> funny. Okay, let's cook. Oh I like to read and watch you cook. Okay. One time I had this girl over for Thanksgiving to meet my family, and my brother accidentally gave my parents neither smoked slash drank edibles and they both had full-blown panic attacks and were staring at her from across the room and i had to take care of everyone and she was so uncomfortable she left i would dang god that is so bad okay i'm gonna blend my first tinder date peter pants in the line to the aquarium in front of everyone after i offered to stop for ba the bathroom multiple times <laughs> Oh, that's so sad. Okay, this is not me, it's my best friends, but I think it's really funny. So we all went out on a concert and she invited the guy she was dating at the time. And obviously we all got drunk and blah, blah. After the concert, we all went out for tacos and this guy was wearing white shorts. And with light, we all noticed that he had a huge red stain. And my friend comes to us and starts laughing and telling us how embarrassed she is because she got her period. 
And she was the one who stained his shorts. <sighs> like she sat on his lap. Oh, oh, did he notice though? If he noticed and didn't say anything, that's a real man. That is a real man. And if he didn't notice, don't even sweat it, girl. He probably never will. <laughs> he probably will never. His mom probably does his laundry that. anyway. Yeah. We usually go to San Juan, Puerto Rico, every Saturday. Every Saturday, because her parents. Who's her? Anyway, because her parents sell crops there, and we volunteer for two hours, then we're off. Her parents drive a van to get all the plants there, then leave it in an isolated parking lot. When we wanna, you know, we do it in the back of the van. Oh, Once her stepdad, stepdad left everything there and went to pick it up, he heard us and saw the van rocking. I've never been more embarrassed in my life. Oh no. That's awful. That is awful. When me and my girlfriend were having our fruity time and she wanted to see I liked butt stuff, so she did something, and ever since then, I've had hemorrhoids, and when I use the bathroom, my butthole bleeds. <laughs> oh my god. These are funny. My first date with my boyfriend, we went roller skating, and it was my first time, and he dragged me to the big rink, and I busted my ass and could not get up, and people kept skating over me. Oh my god. That is cruelty. Do you know that people actually die like yes, a lot they getting get trampled? trampled. Mm -hmm. That's like super real. Okay. This person said, I have so many. That's how you know to be good. Once a guy asked me out and I said yes and he said thank you and I immediately lost feelings and broke up with him in a week. <laughs> That's something I would have done. <laughs> One time in middle school, this this boy that I think I was dating kissed me on the chin instead of my lips by accident and I completely lost feelings for him after that. I was dating this boy and it was like my first boyfriend ever and he had braces and I remember one time I kissed him and I was like, ugh, like I looked in his braces and there was like a little bit of food. <laughs> no, so I, I, I broke up with him. Yeah. We're also gay, so. Yes, that too. I really liked this guy that was in one of my classes and we were cooking soup and I was walking behind him and he accidentally punched me in the face. Oh my god. These are all different dudes. Yeah. Oh my god. When my so girlfriend first told me she loved me, I knew I loved her too, but all that came out was, that's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> that's something I would do. Uh, so now we just spread this out. I was about to go on my very first date and she lived in another city in about 60 kilometers away. Don't know how far that is. And I decided to go there and see my first love. I've been collecting money I needed for the three or four months and got that ticket. Um, I went to her place and while well, she told me she'd meet me at the station but she didn't show up, I spent almost two hours of waiting. So I was alone in the middle of nowhere and she never picked up her phone and never texted me back from them. Never trust anyone Shut anymore. Up. That's awful. It was my first ever date with a girl and I was in my junior year of high school. I invited her to come over and go swimming at my house while my parents were away at a weekend trip. I wanted to impress her by doing a backflip off my little waterfall into my pool even though I've never done one. I launched off of it to only smack my ankle on the rock off wait on the rock waterfall wall on the way down. I winded breaking my ankle in three different places and she had to take me to the emergency room while calling my parents to come back. She waited for me the whole time and even carried me in and out of the car. We've been dating for over a year now, so I guess I can say the back of impressed her. That's so, so cute. cute. I'm stalking you now. <laughs> She's done with the stories and it's perfect timing because I'm done with the banana. Oh, it doesn't have to bake? No. no. It does not, it just has to chill. Okay. Chill. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the fridge and we'll come back to taste it. We'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. I think this is chill. Three, two, two one. Mmm. 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 Really good. I still think that somehow Bonas is better, but you think so too? <laughs> Her crackers aren't hard, they're like mush. Well, it's because you have to let it sit out for longer. No, Bella does it better. No offense, I love you. <laughs> I agree. That's the end of the video. <laughs> I heard your 
brain twist. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Bleh. okay, bye guys. Wait.